Greetings everyone. Today we are going to talk about Nevilethe's new kit. The leak about Nevilethe being both played on off field and on field is totally a lie and that leak and kit is gone now. The real Nevilethe's kit is about him being a totally main DPS, no trace of being a sub DPS and there's another fake thing about the old kit which is Nevilethe have both. Neuma and Osea align powers. He doesn't have both. He is Neuma power Neuma aligned powers. And it is confirmed now. Nevilethe's gameplay is also released. So Nevilethe is confirmed to be a main DPS. Which is a bit happy thing to be noticing about Nevilethe. Why? Because Male Hydro Catalyst, also the first Hydro DPS Catalyst character. Kokomi is not a DPS character. She can do good here, but not a DPS character, of course. Now, in his new kit, Neuvilete has two kind of charge attack. One is the first level of charge attack, charge attack, which is legal evaluation. And the second level of charge attack is equitable judgment. Equitable judgment. If you want to unleash equitable judgment with Neville at them, you have to hold the uh, left key a little bit more than the usual Hydro Catalyst characters. And equitable judgment will take a charging time of like 2 to 4 seconds, depending on if you have any source water droplet around or not. His skill generates source water droplets, like his elemental skill, which will generate 3 source water droplets near that opponent and deal damage based on his max HP, which indicates Nebulete is going to be a max HP DPS character. Now his elemental burst generates like 6 source water droplets, but it also deals damage based on Nebulete's max HP. The other mm. thing I want to say is that Nebulete is probably the first main DPS max HP based character as well. Because there is no main DPS max HP character for now that focuses on max HP more than attack. Well, there is one, but it doesn't use max HP directly. It converts max HP to attack, which is Utao. But she is uh, the only main DPS. Yelan is a sub DPS, so. About Nebulethe's passive, Nebulethe's passive is interesting because. When a party member triggers vaporized frozen electrocharge bloom, hydro swell, or may even a hydro crystallized reaction on opponents once stuck off, draconic glories will be granted to Nebulate. For 30 seconds, there will be only 3 stacks of this, and it will increase the equitable judgment, the second level charge attack, to deal 110, 130, or 160 depending on the stacks of its original damage. Each draconic glory stacks created by each elemental reaction exists independently. So I don't know if you can create like 3 stacks with the same kind of reaction, but I think it's possible. The second one is, for each 1% of Nebulethe's HP over 30%, he will gain 0.6% Hydro Damage Bonus. Maximum of 30% Hydro Damage Bonus can be obtained this way. Now there is another awesome thing about Nebulethe's charge attack which is he can move while charging his equitable judgment that second level charge attack and that's kind of awesome because moving during charging his charge attack which takes time and dodge attacks incoming attacks i mean this is actually gonna be awesome in spiral abyss depending on how much his charge attack deals damage and how his source water droplet works i wish all of you nebula the wonders Best of luck on your 5050. And thank you guys for watching this video. See you next time.